Johannesburg provided the backdrop for Spain's greatest footballing triumph. Andres Iniesta's goal settling the 2010 final as La Roja were crowned world champions. Vicente del Bosque was the coach in South Africa and was again in charge when they retained their European title two years later. It's a great responsibility to have won two titles already, but it increases expectations as we approach this latest football party, which is the World Cup. We will try to enjoy it as much as we can and see where things take us because it's a difficult tournament. But as sportsmen and as good players, we have the obligation of rising to the challenge. Spain will become only the third nation after Italy and Brazil to successfully defend the FIFA World Cup if they lift the trophy on July 13th. No European nation has won the tournament in South America, but the Spanish became the first Europeans to triumph outside their own continent when they tasted victory in South Africa. The credit for that triumph, as well as those before and since, lies not with the coaches, it seems. I think it's mostly down to the players. We give them an idea of how to play, of how to implement our tactics, and we're constantly making them aware of the dangers we could face. Some think that it will be easier this time, but I think the opposite is true. Every day we remind them again so that we all feel a little insecure about the path ahead. It's important that we don't think that winning last time will mean we'll automatically win again. Del Bosque will always be a FIFA World Cup winning coach, and only West Germany's Helmut Schoen had previously steered a nation to the world and European titles. He's now a member of that exclusive club, but joining another could be even harder. Well, first of all, on a personal note, when you see the list of coaches who've been world champions on two consecutive occasions, there's only one, in 1934 and 38, an Italian named Pozzo. So, perhaps it would have been better for the Spanish team to have chosen another coach to take charge because winning back-to-back -back titles seems impossible. But then, we do have the players who still have this desire to win. Spain got a taste of the conditions that will prevail in Brazil when they contested the FIFA Confederations Cup. They reached the final, as so many Spanish teams seem to do at club and international level these days. Something that comes as little surprise to Del Bosque, who's well aware of the structures that are now in place at home. We've always maintained good standards at club level, but that was not always the case with the national team. We always took part, but we never won anything. All of us here who are associated with the good times, we feel proud, but there is no doubt that this is a false modesty. The authors of all this success are the players. We have a generation of footballers who were successful at youth level and they've moved on to become world champions in the seniors. The majority of players from the squad that went to South Africa are still part of Del Bosque's plans. This year they'll face Chile and Australia and they'll begin their group campaign against the Netherlands in a repeat of the 2010 final. Tough assignments, but the coach is looking forward to a great tournament in the perfect location. It's a vibrant country that lives for its football, and football you don't want to miss. Whilst the sport has effectively become an industry, I do think we'll experience football in its purest form here. I think this is the best country in which to demonstrate this point.